we sign a contract at the start of every year. It's like a list of rules saying that I will not, I will not, I will not. No drinking, no drugs, no sex. We do things a little bit differently oh. here. I just don't want to pour my whole heart out right off the bat. No, guard your heart, but yeah. like tell me everything, but like guard it. I've never had a girlfriend my entire life. Everyone around here is trying to find their spouse. This is like a marriage hunting ground. You don't want to miss out on what this campus has to offer. And the atmosphere is like a giant utopia. This, this whole box. thing is embarrassing. Why did I even agree to this? Go this way. Just the boys is what I'm talking about. Totally it's different so scenery. Cool. It's good to mix it up. This is my backyard. We're in Joshua Tree National Park. But it's nice to just have like a little bit of quiet and a little bit of time to get away and be amongst this and experience God in a different way and experience each other in a different way and not have to just sit around and worry about homework and what's due tomorrow in freaking Spanish class and all these things. It's just it's room to breathe. Oh yeah. I think this is good. Yeah, the the nice hard job of carrying the tent. I know, it was starting to get a little tiring after a while. I wonder if I brought the poles. I was gonna say, did we bring the poles? I feel the like poles? there were poles in the car. Maybe then we gotta hike all the way back to get these poles. It wasn't Yeah, maybe. I don't know, man. You're in charge of the. T you're in charge of the tent. That's all. Why is your tent? Unbelievable. I didn't know if there were right poles now? in there. Ah! Couldn't you feel the weight of I it? I thought it was a little light. I'm not gonna lie. Rob and I are sitting here lifting chunks of wood and for the last 25 minutes. And you guys are the one that carrying. You guys are the one that needs the workout. I don't need a workout. Look at me. Oh my goodness. Oh. I go home a lot because Biola is really close to Huntington. So I get to spend a lot of time with my sister and we'll attempt to surf, but we really can't surf at all. <laughs> so we just end up playing in the whitewash and having a really good time together. It's also a workout, so it's half the reason we do it probably. <laughs> Fun. That was fun. We should do that more often. We should actually have Landon come out with us and then he can teach us how. Teach us how to be pro surfers like him. <laughs> You're almost done with school though. So I know. we'll be able to come out so much more. I'm I know. Happy. I have work today. Really? But not many more shifts left. How's Kaylin? He's good. He's actually surprising me with something at work. I don't know what. Really? Yeah, he's like, like a good I need to meet surprise. you at work today. I have a surprise for you. Do you think it's good or bad? Hopefully good. I mean, we're doing good. Nothing's wrong, unless I don't know about it. <laughs> Let's hope it's a good surprise. Are you coming back out today? Yeah, I'll be going to work and then coming back out here. Okay, let's hang so, out. And then I can find out what the surprise is. I can let you know. Yeah. That's tan, though, before you have to go to work. I know. So I'm not super white. Ugh. Tony! Yeah? I don't see you. I got my body caught against some thistles. <laughs> Every inch of my body's being pierced by a small piece of twig. Oh, oh. Yeah, I didn't find it. If the egg were to be anywhere in this big bush, it would be in the middle. What's in it for me, Hannah? What, what if I do find this egg? What, it, what do I get out of this? It would be really bad if the Biola egg, when it was painted black, didn't look nice. So you're literally asking me to spray paint an egg black. If anybody were to ever turn over the big cement egg, it would have my your name. little initials. My full legal name. Maybe in like a lighter black color, you know? <laughs> oh, Hannah, I found something even better than an egg. I found a cinder block. No. I, I think this is the closest thing we're going to get to an egg. Really? Uh, I don't. I'm pretty happy I found something. What would you do without this type of adventure in your life? I'd probably be doing something productive. You could add this on your bucket list of things you did. Rooted around in some rose thickets? By Alpha, the all-girl dorm. I'm done. No, Tony! I can't handle this, We're Hannah. We're in this together, you pink 
like he promised. I just seem like some creepy guy hanging outside a girl's dorm, <laughs> digging through their, like, foliage. <laughs> if you have to go get deported on your, <laughs> put on the boat, yeah. and shipped back. On the boat? As cargo. Because we don't have planes anymore. They wouldn't put me on a plane. You're They'd going put me on a boat six weeks sure. on a boat across 100%. the entire Pacific Ocean. If you get shipped on a boat in handcuffs back to Australia, probably what gonna are you happen. gonna do? Or what would you have to do to stay here? Marriage? I mean, ironically enough, that's how my ancestors came to Australia, probably. Right. Handcuffed that's... on a boat. We are, we are all criminals, after all. That's true. In all seriousness, if you get deported, just know I'm gonna throw the best most beautiful party for you ever seen. <laughs> the biggest deportation It's gonna be party. unbelievable. Pool party. <laughs> okay, you freaking <laughs> dum-dums. There's no hey, pools! There, There's no pools! Serious? Are you kidding? I went back to your car to get your pools, <laughs> none of which were there. Okay, <laughs> I'm <laughs> Tap, tap middle, for sure, because I'm not getting eaten by anything out here. I'm not kidding you. Oh, we're God. sleeping right next to the fire, too. You would go for a long okay, time. Okay, so no, 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 time out, time out. This like isn't on me. This is on Steve now because he's up. the one that brought the tent. You're this the, all of a sudden goes You're the one that showed up at my house at like 7.30, knocking on my door. You came into my room oh. while I was sleeping. Yeah, okay. I, was not ready to, I was not ready to leave. Australian stereotypes, so true. No sense <laughs> what of what time. Is, what? Zero what sense. What does that have to no be the stereotype? It's fine. It is creating these new fictitious stereotypes to bully me. Don't put this on your job resume. Hi. Hey. How's work going? Good. Good. All right. Yeah? It's work. How's your day? Everything? Fine. How's your day? <laughs> it's good. I actually have some news to tell you. Hmm. So you know how the Philippines opportunity is kind of open for me with basketball? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of just been talk and talk and talk. Well, I actually have the opportunity to go out this summer to play and possibly even get a contract for the following year. Wait, so you go out for a year? I'd be leaving this summer for sure, but more than likely I'd be able to get a contract and be gone for a year. So you're just going to leave? <laughs> well, that's the thing. Would you want to come with me? For the next year? I just go? That sounds crazy. <laughs> you could, like, teach kids to speak English or something. Oh, because my major? Yeah. yeah. I'm not even finished with it, though. It'll be a resume builder. It would have been pretty cool. I would have let you, I mean, in all seriousness, so, like, I would have let you paint it. Oh, no, I hate painting. Then, Painting's the worst. Then what is your thing in art that you pursue? My, I'm going specifically into, like, graphic design. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Specifically, I'm trying to, like, launch myself into a career with, like, clothing, like, Billabong, Volcom, something like that. Oh! You know, so, like, like, surfer? Yeah, surf companies. Surf companies, yeah. yeah. Your communication, right? Communication studies um, with an emphasis in interpersonal studies. So I'm learning a lot about how to read people actually currently. So you're reading me right now? Maybe a little bit. Now, what, what vibes am I leading off right now that you are analyzing? The whole purpose behind reading people, you don't really tell them what you're yeah, but analyzing. No, that's, but you are going to tell me now. Even by the fact that you're folded like this, mm -hmm. it means that you're you're comfortable, but you're still a little bit standoffish. Just by like how your hands are like in front of you, it's like protecting yourself. Mm, that's um, good observation. I by me sitting like this, what do you, well, I'll keep my hands on. What do you? What well, you, well, naturally you were like this for most of the conversation. Mm -hmm. So I want to say probably a little standoffish, but comfortable. That's not fair. That's exactly what I just no, said. No, it's hey, it's same thing, and maybe. You're, you're leaned up against something, so... That's a good observation. Yeah. I am against a tree. Yeah, yeah. 
So um, maybe you need the support of someone else. Oh, so you've taken deep. the tree as okay. your support. Okay. And you like to be more of a loner since you don't have a tree? I'm like a one-man wolf pack. I don't need no trees. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you find the Biola egg, though, maybe you should add my initials at the bottom, too. We'll see about that. Just, like, your name in big yellow and then, like, just a little, like, Hannah Seals, like, you know? <laughs> is Steve pooping right Steve now? Steve is 100% taking a poop. He's like, I, I'll be back. It was a long, I don't blame him though, because it was it a long freaking trek us. back to the car. It was a long trek, I mean. Gosh. How was that deuce, dude? Are you serious? Here. No way! <laughs> yeah. Are you? That's 100% on you. <laughs> Where'd you find him? This one was up against a tree. This was in a bush no. right next to where I was pooping. I think that bag was unzipped, though, when we were, like, kind of... I mean, when I was, it was kind of, like, falling apart when I was carrying it in. I guess it could have just slid out the back. That's funny, dude. I ended up just <laughs> squatting right we next got, to the tent. Okay, we got he just out. looks over and just the temples leave right there. What? What'd you use for toilet paper? These Joshua trees are like razor blades. <laughs> Enough said! <laughs> Let's set this hat right now. I feel like we'd actually make a good team if all three of us actually got stuck out in the wild. Because Steve would be the uh, gatherer and the shelter builder. He'd be like the stay-at-home mom. Garrett would be... He'd probably be the guy to tell us what to do and think he's actually making good decisions. And then I'd probably go out and, and get food and hunt and try to like actually get us saved. Gary and I have done a great job setting up the tent. It's a pleasure. That has been Always a pleasure. Camp. You guys do the tent, I'll, stay, I'll do the fire. No, it's no okay. big deal. Well, we, we no, don't yeah. want to put a rookie camper on the fire, dude. We're not going to throw you into the bus like that. It's fine. It's not a big deal that you haven't done much camping before, dude. Uh, that's why we're here for you. We we're love the to teaching you. process. Um. Hey, Robert. Oh, hey, Tony. No, I'm just gonna skip straight from um, what to uh, why are you building this fruit loop of a maze through my harem? Well, I'm gonna turn into a video and uh, put it on YouTube. It's a marble track. Ever since I was a kid, I've enjoyed making videos uh, with toys, with miniatures, um, because in that world, you can create anything. Unlike in a professional film where, oh, if you want a helicopter, that's going to cost you half a million bucks. In the miniature world, you just say, I have a toy helicopter right here, and it's free. Yeah. You're getting a lot of views out there? Yeah, well, I, when you first put a video up, it's like, I don't know, you know, 200 or 300 views from all your friends. Mm -hmm. But then uh, over time, it uh, is a, you know, connected video, and uh, it's... I'm so uh, sorry. <laughs> Over time, it, you know, it builds up views and um, How it's, many uh, views overall do you think you got there? Uh, in the past few years, over time, probably 30 million. <laughs> like, are these all from other people? 30 million views. This robber has a buttload of people watching him on the line. He's cranking in cash by filming Legos with his little potato film camera. Okay, so you're telling me that you're raking in serious dough by just creating these little obstacle courses. Yeah, if you put a lot of work into something, people will watch it on YouTube. You know what? I feel like I need to get in on this. If you're raking in that much, I could buy a car with that type of money. Tony, if you're gonna make a YouTube channel, you gotta make it interesting. I feel like I live an interesting life where everything I do should pretty much already be on YouTube. You've inspired me, Robert. Well, what do you want to do? I got a few things in mind. There's part of me that just wants to appreciate this view. There's another part of me that wants to poop off the sludge. I'm not going to lie. Have you, t have you told Steve about your thing the other day? What thing the other day? With, uh, with Hannah? Can we not? We can, okay, we can okay, talk okay, about that, okay. too. Hey, time out. Save this, is this, is, this is coffee campfire conversation. Yeah, but I'm saying we We're can talk joined... about that later. That's okay, part okay. of yes, the yes, conversation. Yes, yes. Okay, I agree. We'll talk about that later. I feel bad that you haven't told him about that. We were, we were oh, talking dude. about telling you. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, okay, it's really not that big of a deal. No big deal.
NBD? Or is it? NBD for or sure. Or is dude. it? No, NBD for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's a long drop. Don't fall. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, Mark, when Rob told me that you. he took out Hannah, I was, I was just like, ah. Oh. I mean, I think she's kind of cute, and I think if I was to try and date anyone in like our crew, it would certainly be her. But Wait for him. I mean, he doesn't know that I think she's cute. We've never talked about it or anything, so I have no reason to be like jealous or pissed at him. But I was kind of like, I, I was a little surprised. You are, you're a little squirrel monkey. You remind me of the monkey that we're about to get for our apartment next year. <laughs> this is kind of what I anticipated being able to do. I know, I know, it's crazy. But like, you in the Philippines. We would go this summer, and then the next year, we'd be in the Philippines, and then we'd come back, and then I'd finish school. Is it for, it's for basketball? Yeah, it'd be for basketball. He'd play in a But league. what would you do all year? Would you get like a job at some like random like restaurant or something? I don't know, like get an internship maybe out there for my major and then... You would leave, I wouldn't, that's the thing. I I'm wouldn't probably see leaning you. towards saying, you're like mad at me. Sorry, I think that going to the Philippines is a big decision and it's like so soon that like you almost shouldn't because like what if something goes wrong? You're like, what if something like happens between you and Kaylin and then you're stuck in the Philippines for a year? Yeah. And then you like, well, I know. School. I told you, I'm already leaning towards staying and just finishing school because yeah. I think that's really important. I don't think that you should, but it would be so fun. No, it's a cool experience to then go on vacation or if Kaylin ends up going, then go for like a little bit and then go back. But like moving is such a big commitment. Whoa, I take yeah, pots and pots and pots and pots of strong oh. black dogs and giants. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the thing with Hannah, it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a full on date. It was more just like, ah, it's just like hang out and like get to know each other better. I mean, we're like, we're in the small group and, th and stuff, you yeah. know? And so it's like- But he was open to the idea of getting yeah. to know her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she is an awesome, she's great. Like, you know her. Like, she seems great. girl. Yeah, but just like, I don't know. Just, I just feel like I know exactly what I want. And it's just, and it's not her. she's, <laughs> Well, she wasn't it. That uh, okay, sounds bad. It sounds bad that way. It, it is what bad. it is. I mean, like, I mean, if you know what you, you know, want, she probably wasn't even wasn't even gonna be into me anyway. You know? True. She's more into the Australian accent. Oh. Thick beard. She probably likes a guy who knows how to camp, so that immediately probably. rules you out. Yeah, rules Toss, me out. Tosses you out. Right <laughs> away. Rules me out. <laughs> I have my own passions, my own dreams, and I feel like finding someone with those passions and dreams already and finding someone to make me a better man and finding someone that I can make um, her a better woman, I feel like once I find that person, I'll know. So Tony, right here, this is where I like to think. This is where I, my best ideas come up. With this video, we're talking Authenticity, inspiration, inspiration, conquering fears. So my plan for the video is to take this shopping cart and push it down the hill. I don't know what's gonna happen. All I know is that people are gonna like seeing it. It's hilarious. I kinda like the idea of taking the cart down the hill. No, no, yeah. no, 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 get that out of your head. We're, we're talking, we wanna show people what, what, it is, what it is to conquer fear to you, we want to know about Tony. We don't want to know about like the same old jackass son. Like we want to see something real here. That, that's pretty real. I, I don't see the problem with that. Yeah. Tony, look at me. Look at me in the eye. Yeah. Both eyes. Move your hair. Okay. What is it? The place inside of you that you're most afraid of? Well, it's not a place inside of me. Like it's an actual place, physical. We're not going there, though.
Okay, Tony, so we're talking about inspiration and authenticity and overcoming fears, so. Yes. Why are we at a tunnel? The tunnel here is, lies my greatest fear. Ah, are there dead people in there? Well, worse, okay, you know Rob from the baseball team? Is he dead? You know, He's like the sexiest man alive and has the body of a Greek god. Yes. Okay, yeah. Anyways, so he led me through this tunnel and inside of it had cockroaches. It's pretty... My biggest fear in this world. I would have never thought in all my life I would voluntarily go back to these tunnels. I think she used some sort of women persuasion method. I'm not really familiar with it. Ugh. I regress to a state of a little girl when I see cockroaches, and I just want to die. See the sandal, Tony? Yeah. We have to go and get that sandal. We're going to film it. I'm going to have to step Come in on. this crap Tony, now. Tony, take my hand. Oh, gosh. So unsanitary. You know what? This is a little too much. Don't okay. touch me again. So thanks for coming to talk to me. So why did you bring me here? I just wanted to talk to you about a decision that I think you're going to find pretty important. Um, I know you told me that you're not going to be able to come with me. I know. So I. Means I'm sorry. I wouldn't be sorry because I'm not going to go. At least not this year. Why? I just... Wait, are you serious? Yeah. I think our relationship's more important. And if it's something that I could put on hold for one more year, then you're worth the wait. Are you actually not going? <sighs> At least not this year. Good, because I don't think I could have spent a whole year without you. Gone in the Philippines, halfway across the world. But next year, it's not a completely gone opportunity. Okay? Okay. Well, maybe I'll go with you next year. Yeah. Maybe things will... Thank you. Circumstances will I'm be so different. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Looking at big picture, I do only have one year of school left, and I'm in a relationship that I think can go the distance. So it's something I definitely want to stick around for and see what happens with it. Oh, gosh. It's so damp and moist. Just go. Stop complaining. Okay, oh. guys, we're here with Tony. Oh, God. Oh. This is going to make you famous. Oh, no, it won't. In life, we are always going to have a tunnel. There's always going to be roaches in it. It is our goal to conquer that fear and the roaches. Push through the tunnel, you will find light. Except for that tunnel. That tunnel has no light. So you should probably just find a different tunnel. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, we're doing it out. This I can't handle this. This is. Wanna make out? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> what kind of animals do come out here tonight? I think we got some coyotes. I'm, there's gotta be some. Coyotes? Dingoes? Maybe some dingoes. dingoes. Ah, that's that's your. There's dingoes out here? That's back, that's back in your territory, joeys. dude. So there's some little joeys. Little joeys. Those kangaroos, they can be a little uh, vicious. Fun, I wonder if there's mountain lions out here. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. That sounded like a. The Velociraptor. Yeah, it's not bad, huh? This is a very cozy tent for three, though. This is nice and cozy. Yeah, we just turned a one-man tent into a three-man tent. Like, it's not even a big deal. I'm just happy you're staying. I don't think I could have survived another year if I don't without you.